a few minutes or is it hours away from you know him being sworn in as the seventh republican president And so as, uh, you know, President um, Edgar Lungu makes his way to Hero Stadium, he'll be remembered for um, his key role in ensuring that uh, we do this as a country a smooth transition power uh, from him to the uh, elected, uh, you know, Haga uh, Indei So there'll be lots of uh, talking points as well when it comes to his contribution to uh, ensure that uh, Zambia lives up to the credentials of, uh, you know, democracy. And uh, the president-elect uh, did arrive to a very overwhelming, thunderous welcome um, at Heroes Stadium. And uh, now we await the arrival of the outgoing president, His Excellency, uh, President Edgar Chagwalungu. Um, and this surely does trigger a sense of uh, emotion. We saw earlier on the uh, uh, vice president-elect uh, dropping a tear or two, um, you know, uh, following the arrival of... Of, uh, the uh, president elects the atmosphere at Hero Stadium is extremely um, overwhelming. Uh, lots of uh, cheers uh, did uh, greet the arrival of the uh, president elect. That's uh, the vice president elect. You can tell that surely she um, is, you know, going through a very emotional time. Uh, but as far as you know, um, this uh, event is uh, concerned, and um, we will be obviously expecting lots of those uh, emotional moments come from uh, both the print elect, uh, uh, Mr. Handesh Lema, and the vice president elect, um, uh, Madam Tenay Mango. Scores of people um, very happy with uh, what has transpired. They are enjoying this moment and adding color to uh, the Heroes Stadium. This like you mentioned earlier on, it's a very momentous occasion for uh, Zambia. It's so time to celebrate what Zambians have achieved thus far, holding on to democracy um, and uh, indeed uh, respecting the will of the people. Uh, when they've decided to uh, pick a certain individual to be president of uh, the Republic of Zambia when they decided as a political party to rule uh, this country. Um, and everyone, uh, you know, goes the will of the people. So that indeed deserves a celebration. Uh, like uh, the uh, president elect did mention uh, when he was declared, you know, uh, president or the winning, you know, uh, presidential candidate in the, uh, you know, last week's uh, election. Um, he did emphasize uh, for this victory is for Zambians. Um, and he did, uh, um, um, you know, press Zambians for turning out in large numbers to cast their vote and to exercise their right to vote. Franklin Jr. is uh, still with us here at, uh, there, at uh, the Hero Stadium, giving us uh, uh, actualities of what is transpiring there. Uh, we shall be showing you again, um, you know, the uh, live foot of uh, the, um, you know, our president who's making his way to Heroes Stadium. The salute to be followed by the Zambian National Anthem. There will be a 21 dance salute and flight pass. And there will be that inspection of the inauguration guard of honor. So the march pass will be by Zambia Army, the Zambia Air Force, the Zambia National Service, and the Zambia Police Service. After that, the Secretary to the Cabinet will invite President Akainde Hichilema of the Republic of Zambia to the inauguration dais to address the name. So expect some very, very interesting address, the inaugural address by Mr. Hakai Nechilema, the President of the Republic of Zambia. And he is there waiting for that moment. And he was the crowd in response, in appreciation. And he knows that there's a lot of work ahead of him, and the people here are the people that he will be working for. Expected will be speeches from uh, four heads of state and government, representatives of uh, international organizations, and you can expect, if you have to speculate, warm words that were said about Zambia in consideration of uh, the whole smooth uh, democratic process
that uh, has uh, taken place example to the rest of the continent about Zambia's ability to